One of my most favorite people in the world, Abby Martin, once said something that was incredibly prescient. She said, they are curating our reality. And she wasn't necessarily talking about Antarctica or the things that we talk about here on the channel all the time. But it applies. It absolutely applies. What does curating our reality mean? It means that government and large corporations and those who control the net are showing you things. And unless you make a conscious effort to understand what's being shown you versus the things that you're searching for, then you will be forever lost. And her path and mine crossed in the story with Venezuela, where they were curating reality. They were starting with a whole bunch of premises that were false and then telling you what your choices were afterward. One of the reasons I stopped talking about it was that I continually had to say the same thing over and over again to brand new people coming in because they were victims of this curation of reality. Now, having let off with that, I'm going to say quite a few other things today that's going to make a lot of people mad. But it's going to be meant with the best possible intention of really waking people up who are still asleep. The entire story of what happened in 1943, 4, and 5, when the Germans went down to Antarctica, what happened under the ice, that story was told through images in a video put out in 1991. It was a music video that was only four minutes long, but it explains everything. And down in the first pinned comment, I'm going to link that, because even mentioning it on this channel would probably get me tossed off the platform. Now, that video is on the platform, but nobody has put two and two together yet. One of the reasons that I stopped doing the investigation into the Pentagon networks is because other channels were coming and... Um, attempting to link their work with mine. What I was showing had nothing to do with ley lines, had nothing to do with an earth energy grid, and it has nothing to do with any kind of mud flood. And over and over again, continually, I had thousands of people come and say, you need to hook up with this channel or that channel or the other channel. What so many people on YouTube don't understand is that you're being shown things. One of the reasons I have to do videos every single day is so that my channel just doesn't get lost. You would never see a single video from me if I took two days off. It would all just go away. That's why I do them every day. One of the reasons, one of the techniques they used to keep you from looking at Antarctica closely was they put two CIA trained atheists onto this platform to push the flat earth theory using the Dunning-Kruger effect and quite a few other psychological operations techniques, making you believe something that isn't true, because if you believe what they said, then Antarctica couldn't be a continent and nobody would look. We've shown dozens, I'm up to four or five dozen things that nobody can explain. This one was from a while ago, but still many people cannot explain how such a thing could occur. It's very clearly the image of a shark with something in its teeth. You can see the fin here, you can see the jaw, you can see the eye, and we showed this months ago, still. I bet most of my viewers probably have either forgotten about it or haven't ever seen it. And it's only a couple months old. And you'd have to ask yourself a question, too, about certain things. One of them is this. Do you see this long cut in the ice? And then this over here? This is an enormous, enormous structure. 
Only one of two things can be true here. And I'm going to measure it for you guys just to show you how big this is. From the mouth of it to this first turn is 10,000 meters or 10 kilometers, 6.4 miles. It's 6.4 miles long from opening to this first turn. And width-wise, it's a quarter mile wide. Do you know the amount of effort it would have taken just to create this channel? Now, you have one of two things to believe. Either, A, it was a natural formation, which is ridiculous, that it would look just like this and be created this way just through sheer force of nature. Or, I guess you would have three total choices. Either it was made by a modern man, or it was made by a past intelligence, one of the two. Either way, why is a my the only channel talking about it? Why is my channel the only one who's shown anything like this? And what it would mean? If there were truly, clearly, we've shown a civilization down here, and it's being hidden, why? What do they have? What do they know? Who are they? And what happened in World War II? And I can pick just about any region down here and show you things that just you cannot explain. My northern friends will understand this one really clear. Because when winter hits and the wind starts to blow around a structure, it creates one of these. Um, you know, it starts to drift. You can tell just about which way the wind is hitting a structure that is surrounded by snow by how this drift forms. So when you look at this, you can tell this is not a rock. There's no way this is a rock. This is something that is creating heat. Heat is emanating from this. Just like it would a house. That's why there's no snow or ice on top of it. There's a structure here. A smaller one next to it here. Some type of a path that's been created right next to it here. And there's another one over here. Now, what are these? Who knows? But that I started looking into this a little over a year ago. And it's very entertaining to me, the people that come and talk about my audio or talk about using a smartphone to film a, a camera screen. The more they complain about it, the more I love doing it. Because it just proves the point. There are channels out there vastly more popular with incredible amounts of technology that could have been looking into this for years. This imagery has been here since 2008. There's another small structure here. I just didn't want to show these before I forgot. And here. Since 2008. It's 2019. Why am I the only one doing it? Why am I the only one who's seemingly had the ability to do it? I don't think that's the case. But do understand, there is a narrative. There is a narrative out there that not only comes from the government, but comes from people here on this platform. There's a certain accepted truth. They have their own little truth or Bible. And if you're not a worshiper and a believer in that truth or Bible, then you'll get largely ignored. Now I'm showing this because it's a shadow. But it's a shadow of some type of humanoid being. And clearly, the humanoid being, whatever it is right here, isn't nearly as large as the shadow, but the shadow gives it away. You can see whatever it is, it's standing right here. And they're not hard to find. And let's see if I can show one other thing here. There's human figures everywhere, but you have to be looking for the shadow of them.
not for them themselves. You can even see the feet here. Got the head, one arm here, another arm here. And I'll show even a third sight. Way over here. And I'm in the wrong ear. Here we go. Out on the ice in 2004. Right here. And I don't even I don't even have to uh, circle in this region. There's something else here. Something else here. It just goes on and on and on. And so sometimes I just have to ask myself. If I'm just a guy with a smartphone and I have a nicer computer now, but I started doing this with a smartphone and a laptop. What was the big secret that not even the so-called quote-unquote truthers on YouTube would go near this? It's pretty clear. They were curated what to believe. They were taught what to believe. And what to believe was that there was no such thing as Antarctica. And nobody threw up any bells. Nobody threw up any warning bells. Hey, why are they trying to not make us look at Antarctica by making us believe that it's not there? And why are we listening to two atheists tell us what the Bible says about flat earth? So I guess I'll just leave it with this image here. You know, <clears throat> I have like 50 or 60 images. I'd like somebody to tell me what the odds are of just random wind, ice, rock, and snow coming together to look like this. Or like this. Or like this. Or this. Or this. And I could continue to just go on and on and on and on. But the question needs to, I guess, graduate from what's down there to why haven't we seen it before? Why is no one else talking about it? And why was there a concerted effort to keep anyone from attempting to find it? Like, share, subscribe.